What's up guys and welcome to day one of the $20,000 Deadman Mode tournament. This one's eight days long so I thought I'd actually try it out because I've never done it before and I thought I would go with Mank and some of his friends. So I didn't want to do any of that boring grind you guys see other people do where they like rush a D defender or they rush Barrows or like they rush Slayer. I wanted to go get PK ready in the first day so I could go out and push out content for you guys. So uh, me and Mank's plan was to go get our 10k from um, the Stronghold and I actually had two other people give me their 10k, so I had 30k to start off with. So I was already pretty strong right from the beginning. Now the plan was that we were just going to rush DT in the first day. So we could go PK with Ancients, maybe in the first day or definitely by day two. So what we wanted to get is we wanted to get 45 magic and we wanted to get around 60 range and like 20 to defense just so we were okay. And then we are going to go do all the quests. So with my 30k, I decided I'd go buy f about 400 uh, fire strike costs, which should have got me to 45 mage easily, and I just used the rest of the cost to get whatever level I could. So I bought 400 uh, mind runes and 800 air runes, I think it was. And because there's so many people, this actually cost a lot more than it should have, but it's whatever. You know, it's part of the amount there's about like 2,000 other people competing for you for runes at the start. Uh, there was also a glitch at the start where arrows weren't restocking as fast as they're going to be. And usually I just get the arrows right away, but I decided to wait and get my mage first. So there was, uh, you know, more time later and there was more arrows in stock. So we went and got our magic first. Then we thieved ourselves some teas and it was time to go hit up the Black Knights and train our magic up. So I got about to 49 magic and 20 defense with, you know, about like 50 costs left. And we were going to get like 50 magic and shit. But our trip was cut a little early when like about a 20 man team, I spotted about a 20 man team rushing in. I managed to get over the ditch, however, Seb or Manked, you know, he wasn't as fast. So, how, when is it? The when? Has it already done? Oh shit, Seb, I just saw- Seb, hop, 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 hop the ditch, hop the ditch, I just saw fucking Dude, fuck it, Seb, run, run, oh, run, bro, run, fuck that, I'm run that. <laughs> now hop the ditch, you're fine. Oh. You Heb, you're fine, Seb, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, just eat, what? eat your tea. You've just Seb, I'm so proud of you, bro. I'm so proud of you, bro. He literally could have got stacked out on that uh, Wilderness Ditch, but apparently, because we were so high mage, I guess, because they were PKing, they weren't as high mage as us, he just hopped over and only like two of them actually hit and the rest of them just splashed on him. So now we we're going to go uh, get our range up. He got so lucky. Okay, so they fixed the arrow thing, so it restocked at a faster rate. So I went and got myself each of every bow and I got myself about 1.3k bronze arrows. Then we were going to go get 30 agility really quickly at the Gnome Stronghold, and then it was time to get about 60 range. Just got uh, 30 agility, and it was time to go get 60 range real quick. Okay, we got to about 60 range and like 39 defense, so we could just get that final uh, 40 defense level just when we were running around doing other stuff for like quest and shit. So 60 range of 40 defense, and this is like I think about an hour and a half like into the tourney, I'm pretty sure. So it was time to get some questing done so we could go do DT and the first quest up on the list was Priest in Peril that would unlock our ability to go train prayer and it unlocks the whole like Canifus area for us. So as most of you guys know this is a pretty risky quest because you have to bring like a full inventory of rune essence which means you barely have any food so if you get hit you're pretty much dead no matter what. And uh, yeah, I just thought, okay, I'd bring two cakes and we just YOLO'd it and uh, we managed to complete the quest. After that, next up on the list was Death Plus 2, which would get us our climbing boots and it was a requirement for Troll Stronghold, which is also a requirement for Desert Treasure. And you guys know this gambling bit? I got super fucking unlucky and I actually got clean, so I had to go get an extra 3k, which like wasted around 10 minutes. My friends got it legit on their first try, but it took me forever to get this IOU thing. But after that was done, it was uh, the rest of the quest was quick and easy and we got Death Plus 2 done. So after that we had to go do Judic Ritual which means we had to go enchant some raw meat and put it in a cauldron for whatever reason to unlock the Herblore skill and uh, we also needed to get like 10 Herblore after that as well. Then it was time to do a long ass quest known as the Dig Site which is a lot of running back and forth and getting answers and collecting stuff. Some of it's RNG but you know it's a pretty chill quest and uh, you don't really get attacked doing it because it's just kind of out of the way and you don't get much from killing people there. Unless you want to count people who are trying to do DT, then that's a really nice place to go. But it took us like, I'd say about an hour to complete it, and we got uh, the dig site done, which is another requirement for Desert Treasure. So then eventually we all, we had our dragon bones ready for 45 prayer. I needed like 20 dragon bones to get the 45 prayer, but I just went and got my ghost speak amulet really quickly from doing the restless ghost. And then we're going to go head off to Port Fatafatmus or whatever you call it, and uh, go get your 45 prayer. Okay, we unlock the Ectofuncus. Uh, this would actually be a lot quicker if like no one else was doing it because I could have just bought the buckets of slime, but I had to go fill them down like underneath, which was a lot of walk-in and like obviously there's no staminas or energies in the game yet. So it's pretty slow paced. 
but we did manage to get, get ourselves 45 prayer. I was only really going for 43, but that means that I unlocked Eagle Eye and Mystic Might now, which just makes it when we go PKing, it makes it that much more efficient and it makes us do that much more damage, which is very nice. Got my magic requirement from DT from 49 to 50 with a quick Varrock tally, just thought I'd share. Then it was time to get back on the grind for uh, prerequisites for Desert Treasure, and next up on the list was Temple of Ikov. Now, we obviously, we already had the range level for that, but we did need it to get uh, 42 Thieving so we could go get those Ice Arrows or whatever to uh, kill people. After we got that, it was time to go do the quest. Now, I'm sure it's smarter to get more than 10 arrows, and I'm pretty sure someone in my uh, team actually used 12 of them, but I was, just, I was just way too lazy, so I got myself 10 Ice Arrows. And I was gonna go kill that thing. Okay, now this was this was the panicky bit because I don't I don't I'm not I'm not a good prayer flicker or PVM or any type of guy. So I was trying to player flick this dude, and I had my attack options on like the wrong thing. And I have no avas, I have no gear. I'm just trying to like, kill this guy with ten arrows. So in hindsight, I probably should have picked up a little bit more because the way the start was going was not too good. I only had like one hour left, and I barely done anything. But I got some nice tens in, and obviously you could pick up the arrows, which is very nice. And we did just about to kill him. I think I only had two hours left, like in total, that were in my inventory or not on the floor. So that could have gone really wrong if we didn't have the right RNG. Then we straight back, uh, backstabbed this Lucid kid and uh, finished Temple of Ikov, and it was time to go do more quests for DT. Next up on the list was Tro Troll Stronghold, and this guy actually lined up behind me. I didn't even know that like there wasn't even an instance for this or anything, because I'm a I've never done a Deadman tournament before. I've only done seasonals, so I don't really do any of these quests or stuff. So I guess there was a little bit of respect because these guys actually lined up for me while I killed dad. Then I had to go kill this general and like I said, I'm not a very good prayer flicker. So I got hit a 38 and I almost died for everything. But luckily we just got the prayer back up and I wasn't taking any more risks. And we killed uh, this general force key. We went back after the, like returning those two people in the jail cells and troll stronghold was completed. And I think the next up on my list was uh, waterfall. Next up was Waterfall Quest, which would actually get our attack and strength levels up a little bit because we barely trained them at all. It'd all be from Quest, and this got us like 30 of each, which was uh, pretty nice. So next up was Tourist Trap, and this is where things get very interesting and very unfortunate in the name of Deadman Mode. Dude, this is an idiot. Why didn't you kill him? That's oh my god, Cool Cat 54 is here with bolts, bro. Fuck that, I'm running. <laughs> what do you mean? He, he's, he's Emerald Bolt. Right he has Emerald Bolts E, bro. Is no, I'm a... dead. I'm genuinely dead. Like, there's nothing I can do. I'm out of run. <laughs> Why did you not run, Drop your shit for mate. <laughs> I'm not near him. Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm fight back. I don't, I don't think he has overheads. I don't think he has overheads. Wait, that means I can do the quest or no? Oh. Yeah, quick, quick, quick! <laughs> <laughs> this is Neutral. so horrible. Wait, I think, this, I think one of these things will hit him. I think this big ass... Wait, will this camel hit him or no? The camel should hit him, I think. Yeah, I the know. camel can aggro him and then he but can support he's, he's running around, so he's like trying to avoid it. Fucking hell, so they got proper people. You can get like, a gap if you have energy. It's because that kid's probably told him that I'm doing the quest right now. Alright, so something hit him, why. so I should be able to tell you. Oh, what? They've got a guy with binds on me, bro! <laughs> what? Oh no, dude. Oh. I'm actually fucked. I'm genuinely fucked. He has a DDS. No, I'm actually dead. I'm okay. Good night, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy has a DDS. Are you joking? I'm not joking at all. So that guy must be telling people when people are doing the quest. Fuck right, I'm, you know. I'm literally just gonna try and bail north. It's the only thing I can do right now. Wait, north? That's towards me. So, there might have been a slight issue in my plan. I'm not exactly which, sure which clan it was, but I, they were, what they were trying to do is basically rag people off the, rag people off the tourist trap place so no one could really like get the crest for it to do DT. So that like, you know, they're just trying to stop people from doing TT as long as possible. And that's completely fine. That's part of the game. Ragging people off quest is something that it should, is very much allowed in the tourney. I'm not trying to complain about that or anything. It's a very good strategy to stop your opponents from doing that. But it set me back about 30 to 45 minutes, and apparently they were camping there for like another hour, so yeah, I did die. I could have escaped if I was smarter, but let's be honest, I'm not, the, I'm not the smartest book on the shelf, I don't even know if that's the correct saying, and we did unfortunately hit the floor. So before, because this is actually our final quest to do before DT, so before doing that, I decided to uh, go get my other requirement, which was uh, 50 thieving, no, 53 thieving and 50 firing, 50 fire making. All right, 50 fire making. Now it's time to go get the 53 thieving real quick. 53 thieving, and then we actually got 10 slayer uh, just by killing like two of our monsters. 
and it was time to go attempt tourist trap again and hopefully not run into anybody this time. This time we actually managed to do it in peace and we got tourist trap done, which means as soon as we got all the items, we were ready to go do desert treasure. So to even progress in DT, I had to go to the bandit camp and give all my items to this one guy and buy a beer. And all of this place is in multi. And whenever I go, there would be a level three scout inside the inside the bar or whatever. And they'd have like six people with bone crossbows just bolt ragging people so they couldn't do the quest. I guess the clan was just trying to lock DT away and not let as many people as possible do it. So I had real no other options but to try and uh, call some friends of my own to go clear them out so we could go do a uh, DT really quickly, at least this part of it. So the friends came in and I quickly did my part of DT. Let's go, bro, go kill that scout. He? He's right southwest, his name's Sour Seago. Sour Seago, he's inside. No, stay, you're safe. Yeah. We're hiding behind <laughs> the, the, the... All right, let's see if someone logs in. Man. The cactus is... Hiding behind the cactus. Taking like four hits to kill him. All right, he's dead. There's like three people in the other thing. There's All right, go rush that, go rush them, bro. Dark yeah, get the dog, kid. Are we kidding? Yeah, they rushed in and cleared them out, and you know, I was taking no chances. I wasn't sculling up. I was just, you know, using them as my body bags. I went in uh, and did my part of DT real quick, and the, they held this place down for like 10 minutes before they got rushed again. But we did manage to do that part of the quest, which means we could go move on to finding our diamonds. So we went for the blood diamond first, which meant we had to go kill this Desus thing or whatever. And yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just say it took more than one trip. Alright, I'm about to kill it. Legit have four lobsters left. Come on. Alright, we got it. Sick. Uh, I think I can go collect my diamond now. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And my... It apparently was my Slayer toss, so... I just got some Slayer XP for that. Oh yeah, I got Ice Warriors. And I just got myself a Super Restore. Now I need to go get myself my ice diamond. Okay, and I think this is how we get our thingy majiggy diamond. We just have to uh, break both of these things or something. I don't really know. Uh, do I have to hit a 10 on it? I'm confused. Alright. Thanks for free me, but my husband's still trapped in there. Say no more, bro. I got you. Okay. Do I get this guy's diamond now or what? Uh, sick. All right, now we need to go get the smoke one, I think. Okay, and we got the smoke diamond. Now we just need to get uh, the last one. I'm pretty sure, which is gonna be the hardest one because I don't even have any lock picks yet. Finally got this fucking gilded cross, bro. I've legit spent like probably over five mil oh seven swapping to buy lock picks because like they're going up in price every time I try and buy them. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. We've only got three doses left, and it's only like 10 HP or something. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, honestly. I'm gonna have to go into the super restores for sure, but I don't even know if that's gonna be enough. This is gonna be super close. Legit super close. Alright, so I'm gonna store there. Uh, and I think I might just have it in the bag. Hopefully. Come on. Just die. I'm gonna have to drink this last sip. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Just die! Alright, I think it's dead here. Sick. Uh, okay, we need to get the diamonds. Alright, now we need to get out of here. I didn't even trigger any of these traps. Uh, do I talk to Azandra? How goes the battle? You do not know of the battle? Oh, no, it's been a while since I've done this quest. Okay, do I get ancients now? That's really all I want. Oop! Quest complete. Should I grab a quick screeny of that? Yeah, I should. Alright, 20 magic, 20k magic XP as well. So now we're 61 magic. It's time to go ready to get to go get PK ready. Right now I'm just high alking outside of a safe zone and we're gonna try and get our magic up a little bit. I wanna get to ice splits before I go PKing and we can PK with ice splits a little bit before, you know, it becomes essential that we get barrage. I also need to get a range levels. I don't know yet if I'm gonna get strength or at all, honestly. Anyway, this is just my day one progress. You know, only one day of grinding. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to grind every day, but tomorrow's video, we should definitely be PKing, hopefully. So if you guys did enjoy this, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and get stay tuned for a lot of content. Also, follow me on Twitch, links in the description, because if I do PK, I'm probably gonna live stream it.